Steph Curry is elite at a lot of things, but these skills any player can master, check it out in today's video. Hey team, Coach Conley back with another Conley Hoops video. Today we're breaking down Steph Curry, but not his shooting or ball handling, the three skills even you can master to become elite right now. And leave a comment below on whether or not you think Steph is the most skilled basketball player in today's game. So we all know Steph Curry is a great shooter, he's a great passer, even a great ball handler. But what are the skills that he has that anybody really can master and really are the skills that separate him? The first, it's moving without the ball. Me, as a basketball coach, I'm in awe at how much he moves without the ball. He works so hard to get open, and when he does, he executes. This first one's really simple, right? He just gives up the ball, he moves away, and then he comes off the screen. If you relax even a little bit against Steph Curry, you're gonna give up a shot. In this one, he misses the three, right? Most players stop right there. But they get an offensive rebound, but he doesn't get the outlet. He moves all the way to the other side of the basket, gets the ball on the wing, fights his teammate for it, gets the ball, drives it, and gets a bucket. He is relentless. Here's another great one with Steph moving without the ball. Here, he breaks down his defender, actually gets to the step away, but doesn't have the shot. He's willing to give up the ball, but it doesn't stop there. He sprints to the other side of the court, comes off the downstream, still doesn't get the ball, then comes off the handoff with Draymond, pump fake, gets to his other spot, and knocks down the three. Most players stop two to three times before they get to that point. So being an elite player isn't just about making the shot, it's about making sure that you get open no matter what it takes. Number two, it's back cuts. Most players just go to the ball. As a coach, I hate it, and they just run to the ball, get the ball, and wanna go one-on-one. -on -one. In today's game, you have to take what the defense gets you, and back cutting is such a great way to get easy baskets. Here Curry notices he doesn't have anything in transition, so he waits patiently, gives the ball up to Draymond on the wing, hard sprint cut to the rim. As a defender is gonna stay up on him, it's the best place to cut to get an easy basket. Watch here as Curry patiently waits in the corner, then reads it, knows his defender isn't paying any attention, back cuts on him, and gets the easy bucket. Remember, any player can do this, not just Steph Curry. Finding openings at the rim are so important. Remember, we still have two left, and the last one is so important. Check it out. Number three, sprinting out in transition. I see so many players taking their time jogging down the court. One, because they don't think they're gonna get the ball. Two, because they don't want it bad enough. If you sprint on every play, it makes your defenders have to work twice as hard. And if you really want buckets, you'll get out in front of the ball and make plays. Watch on this first clip as Curry sees the lane and sprints, gets in front of Poole and finishes the layup. On this one, Curry gets the ball, but he outlets it. Now he could have just let Jordan finish the play, but no, he continues to sprint, gets in front of it again, and he actually gets to finish the layup just because of the effort in transition. Watch how quickly Curry turns and sprints on this play. First, he tries to beat everybody for a layup, then realizes he's not gonna get it. What does he do? He relocates to the three-point line, ready, willing, and able to knock down the three. Remember, anybody can do this. You running hard, getting in front of the ball, getting to the basket, and then even if you don't get the layup, get to another spot so you can make a play, that's how you excel and that's how you make more plays for you and your team. And I know I said there's one more and it's not really even a highlight and it's definitely the dirty work. What is it? Rebounding. Anybody can rebound and as a point guard, it's even better if you rebound the ball, you don't even have to wait for an outlet. You get the rebound, you can push every single fast break. Curry might not get double doubles every day, but he gets a lot of rebounds to start his own fast break, putting tremendous amounts of pressure on the defense. These four skills, anybody that plays basketball can be the best at. From now on, don't just look at ball handling and shooting, 
Look at the other areas of your game that you can make an impact on that will really help your team win. Always sprint the floor, always move without the ball and cut hard. Look for back cut opportunities for easy layups and always, always rebound and start your own fast breaks. That's it for today's video. Again, I love breaking down things that you as a basketball player can work on all the time. You don't have to be Steph Curry to do these things. Put them into game and I guarantee your coach will notice. Please leave a comment below if you think Steph Curry is the most skilled basketball player. And I know it's not just his shooting or his ball handling. It's his all around game that makes him one of the fiercest competitors the league has ever seen. That's it from Conley Hoops this week. Check you out next time.